Welcome back. The early morning storm left a mess across the coastal bend. Among the casualties, a temporary animal shelter in Ingleside. That shelter was set up last fall while they build a new shelter. It has an outside kennel with a tarp for a roof, which then blew off because of all that wind. Our Lydia Herrera joins us now with that story. Lydia. That's right, Rudy and Leslie. I spoke to Ingleside interim police chief Martin Molina, Molina, who says no police were harmed during the storm, but the tarp that was in place to protect them was ripped to pieces by the wind. As early morning storms rolled through the area Wednesday, Ingleside's temporary animal shelter took a hit. It was just uh, the torn up tarp that was flapping in the wind, so we, uh, we changed it out. The animal shelter is currently home to 18 dogs. Thanks to Ingleside's police, they were moved to safety and their temporary shelter was repaired. They were relocated to adjacent uh, empty kennels, so we did the repairs and then they were placed back into the, the kennel. There was no damage to any of the dog houses. The Ingleside Animal Shelter took to social media to praise the Ingleside police for their actions. Molina says he appreciates all the support they have received from the community. To see that, it makes a big difference. We know that we're not alone in this. The community is behind us. As we look ahead to a potentially busy hurricane season, Wednesday storm serves as a reminder to pet owners to make sure their pet's shelters are protected from the elements. Your pets are very similar to how you feel when you're outside. So um, bringing them inside, keeping them safe during that time is really important if you care and love about your pet. I reached out to Ingleside City Manager Brenton Lewis, who says the new animal shelter is still on track to be completed this September. Back to you, Rudy and Leslie.